I think it's time we shared a meal together on the channel. But not just any meal. It's an MRE, a meal ready to eat. If you're feeling a little bit hungry, I hope you'll stick around with me. And let's take a look at these MREs. About a year and a half ago, a company here in North America called Meal Kit Supply, they operated out of the US and they expanded into Canada last year, had contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try out their MREs on the channel. At first, I wasn't really sure how it would fit the channel because I didn't know a lot about MREs, but you know me. Hit the internet, started doing some research, not just on the company itself, but also on MREs and some background on MREs, why they're used, how long they've been around, how many companies are out there that sell MREs and what they're for and the different options available. It quickly became apparent to me why the company reached out. GP Outdoors, I have an outdoors channel. And although MREs are primarily or more traditionally used for disaster relief, um, used of course, as you know, with the military, However, over the last number of years, there's been a growing market segment that have started purchasing and using MREs. That's right, the outdoors market. So whether you enjoy camping or fishing or hunting or survival type activities in the outdoors, or you just simply have a cottage or a cabin, this market segment has really become a popular segment for MREs. They serve a purpose, and I'm gonna tell you about them today on the channel. Meal Kit Supply sells by the case. So you can get a case of 12 meals. And what I understand is that at least nine of the 12 will be unique meals. And the other three, of course, are duplicates of whatever's in the box. Out of the 12 meals, you're gonna get four breakfasts, eight dinners. Now I have to apologize. <laughs> I've had this case up here for about a year and a half. I've actually only had two meals out of it myself personally. In fact, the first meal I had with my wife, Carol, we wanted to try it. For some reason, there are only five meals left in here, <laughs> which I didn't know because I keep it in the cupboard. But apparently somebody's enjoying the meals while I've been away. I'll give you an idea of what you've got in the box. You've got chili with beans, cheese tortellina and tomato sauce, beef ravioli and meat sauce, marinara sauce with meatballs, and hash brown potatoes with bacon, peppers, and onions. Now that sounds good. I think some of the other meals that we had is we had an oatmeal. I think it was apple cinnamon oatmeal, which was really good. Uh, and I'm not sure what else was in the box. Nice thing is if you do go on the website, you can see all the different recipes or the types of meals that they supply. And in fact, on the box itself, they list all the meals inside. Each one of the meals has its own nutrition card inside as well as a list of the ingredients and what's in the pack. And they're about 1,200 calories each. Each one of the meals is a complete three course hot meal. You're gonna get three courses in there. There's also what they call a flameless ration heater. Basically you add water to it and it will heat up whatever the main meal is. The package itself, really thick plastic. They say it's hermetically sealed, so it should keep out pests or any type of contaminants. And the package is in fact waterproof, which explains, I think, why they're so popular with the outdoor types, whether you're portaging or camping, or in the wintertime, if you're out on a one or two day trip with your buddies snowmobiling or ATVing, pretty easy to put one of these in the back toe of the skidoo. What I like about these MREs, there are no preservatives in here. They're hydrated meals, not dehydrated like some other companies I looked up on the internet. It has a five year shelf life and you have an entire three course meal and everything you need here. And all you need to add is a little bit of water. That's it. After having these meals for the last year and a half at the cabin, I can certainly understand now why MREs have become so popular with outdoors people. Whether you've got a cabin or a cottage up here, probably the majority of people that own a cabin or a cottage don't have winterized cabins. A lot of folks don't have electricity. So you're always going to try to store some kind of backup food source. Because usually when you go up to the cottage or the cabin, you bring enough food for the number of days you think you're going to stay. But as I've told you folks on the channel a few times, before I had this tractor, I used to have to contract somebody to plow out this driveway. And at least once or twice every winter, I would get up in the morning, get ready to go home, look out and see a couple of feet of snow, and I'd be stuck here for another couple of days waiting for the plow to come through. So I know what it's like to run out of food or to think you've got canned food. You open up your cupboard, you grab the can and you realize it's six months expired. 
So having a backup supply that has a five year shelf life that I can sit in the cupboard and just leave there, I think is part of a good overall plan for backup food. All right, let's eat. I think I'm gonna try the beef ravioli in meat sauce. You certainly don't need a glass and a plate to eat this meal. You can eat it right out in the forest. In fact, the first meal I ate with my wife, we ate right out of the pouches. They're definitely well protected. What do we have here? There's the beef ravioli. Ah, I've got some crackers, a little hot sauce, grape jelly, and a little lemon lime drink. Here's the interesting part. This is how it heats up the meal. We'll go through that in a moment. A little chocolate milk. So we've got two drinks in here. Chocolate pudding. Utensils in a napkin. Applesauce. And this is the pouch for heating up the hot meal. Let's get that hot meal underway. I believe you need to leave it for about 10 minutes in the heater. Rip it open. You can see that there's a heater in there. Take our MRE. Place it inside. Make sure it gets right down into the bottom. Pour a little bit of water. You don't want to put too much in though. There's actually a line and you're not supposed to pass this line with the water. I think it takes about 30 milliliters if I'm not mistaken. That should be it. Fold our bag. Make sure the water gets all the way around the heater. It should start heating up any minute. Oh yeah, that's getting hot. Put it in its protective cardboard sleeve. And I believe it, we leave it here for about 10 minutes. Should be ready to eat. Oh boy, I can actually smell the food cooking or warming up. Got some crackers in here. And perhaps we could try a little grape jelly. Some interesting information that I picked up when I was doing my research on MREs is that the MREs that you can get from Meal Kit Supply or others are considered civilian MREs. They're very similar, but not exactly like military MREs. In fact, it's against the law for anybody to sell or resell military MREs. Mm. That's good. However, Meal Kit Supply sources all of its MREs from a contracted company that makes the military MREs for the Department of National Defense. Mm. Crackers are nice and crisp. Jelly's very tasty. Let's try one of these drinks. Got a fresh nap for wiping up afterwards. Got some salt and pepper, napkin, and a spoon. What's good? Lemon lime drink. Can't go too wrong with that. Let's try this chocolate milk. This package actually has a resealable top on it. Let me see if I seal it. You can probably shake it right in here. Yeah. 
It says it's got a little cocoa in there. Yeah, chocolatey, it's chocolate milk. Has a little cocoa, just added water. Mm. Once again, flavorful. Yep, that's hot. I think she's ready to eat. I'm looking forward to trying it. Beef ravioli and meat sauce. I think when I folded this down, I should have folded it in so that it stayed into the cardboard. However, I got to smell it as it was warming up. Which brings me to another point. All of the food in these meals are fully cooked. You can eat it all cold. You don't have to heat it up. Jeez, that's hot. <laughs> that heater really works. Smells good. Wow. <laughs> I'll be honest, it is really good. Mm. Very, very good. Honestly, so far, exceptional. Food in a bag, really tasty. I can see why on the internet a number of people said that when you have these meals and you're outdoors, you tend to want to eat it throughout the day because there's a lot of food here in one sitting. Let's try our chocolate pudding first. So shake it for 60 seconds and then stir it a little bit. She should be ready to go. Jeez, I can smell it already. So it's stirred a little bit with the spoon. I'll just show you what it looks like. Yeah, tastes like pudding. Mmm. And very chocolatey. That's pretty amazing. Mmm. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of food in one sitting. But I gotta finish it off, or at least try the applesauce. Yep, it looks like applesauce. Mm. Good. It's got some texture to it. It's not too runny. And it tastes great. Wow. Boy, oh boy. Now that's a meal. And a really good meal. Five year shelf life. Kind of beats out the canned goods, doesn't it? It certainly beats a can of soup out of the cupboard. That's for sure. Thanks for having dinner with me. So if you're considering MREs, I'd encourage you to go online, take a look at Meal Kit Supply. There's a ton of testimonials and references from the RCMP, fire departments, police departments across Canada, different survival groups, outdoors groups. And there are a number of different articles online that talk about how MREs have become more and more adopted into kind of outdoors life and people that love the outdoors. It makes a lot of sense to me and it certainly has here so far. Thanks so much for sticking around with me today and enjoying a meal together. I hope you found the topic or the product of interest or at least informative. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button. And if you wanna know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families, a safe week, and please be kind. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. <laughs> I think I'm going off camera for a minute.